Hey, hey, everybody. Hopefully you had a great day one of League Start for Trailblazers Reloaded. Let's get into my recap of day one. So today I'm going to talk about, you know, how my League Start went, what did I do first off, and, and how did I keep going. Uh, two, I'm going to talk about the total progress I made yesterday. I took some screenshots this morning right before I got into the game, so I'm going to cover those. Uh, I'm going to talk about a few pointers that were useful for me that might be useful for you if you're choosing the regions and relics that I chose. Uh, I'm going to talk about a really good way to use the wiki on how to get tasks and make more progress. And then I'm going to talk about some of my goals I have for the rest of the day today. So, league start. Went pretty great. I actually made a really, really short list. My entire list of steps, actually, you could see right here. Um, really, really short list just to kind of get going and get the momentum. Pretty much for me, all I needed was like, hey, I need some momentum to get going. And then as soon as I have the momentum, I'm just going to keep looking at tasks and reading what's next and picking what's next, right? And I had a great start. Uh, and the main thing to look for when you know, you're doing this type of like, I'm going to just figure things out strategy is chainable tasks. Now, here you can see mine 50 ore, then smelt an iron bar then smith 150 iron arrow tips, and then fletch 150 iron arrows. So these are all tasks that I can pretty much, hey, mine the 50 ore, bank it, make some bars, make them into arrow tips, and then make them into iron arrows, all super early, and they all kind of chain perfectly together. So that's pretty much what I did on you know this entire progress. Also, I was chatting with some friends, so they were reading some tasks, and I was reading some tasks, and we were just kind of sharing tasks, and that was just really, really helpful at getting a bunch of tasks done early on and getting those unlocks. Now, yesterday's progress. I was actually surprised at how much progress I made. I got 4,500 or 4,560 league points, 1,156 total levels. I pushed, you know, a lot of high levels as well as just overall general levels across many different styles. Um, I did unlock you know, five out of the eight relics already. Uh, and you can see my relic choices here, um, and I'll talk about them in a second. And I did unlock two out of the three regions. I did go desert first into Asgarnia. And lastly, I'm still kind of, you know, deciding between Tyranwin and Zaya, but I'll figure that out hopefully today or tomorrow. So, Production Prodigy, I kind of hinted at that. This was going to be a super duper powerful relic, and it has been phenomenal. My crafting level, you know, I was getting like 5 mil XP an hour at the desert gem stall, just cutting the gems and selling them back to the, the vendor and just doing that nonstop. So, that was absolutely insane. I rushed to 81, plus there's a plus 12 boost onto that. So, I actually went and got my Onyx jewelry, and funny enough, the 25% duplication worked for all three of my Onyx jewelry. So in my bank, I have an Onyx amulet, an Onyx necklace, and an Onyx uh, bracelet. All setting, I'm waiting to level up my magic today to get those enchanted and have some great you know, jewelry pieces to go for my gear for combat training today. So that's kind of the goal. Um, but yeah, Production Prodigy has been an absolute delight. Cannot recommend it enough. Also, I've seen some trickster insane you know, thieving strats and like absolutely bonkers uh, thieving AFK. It's really, really good. So keep that in mind. Uh, now, Flurry's Flight versus Globetrotter. So this was a big debate between my friends and I, and I realized that by adding the tool Leprechaun teleports to Fairy's Flight, they added a teleport that doesn't exist in the game today. Now, Globetrotter, everything in the Portal necklace, Nexus, in the jewelry box, you can set up yourself just by having teleport runes. You can set up, you know, teleport portals in your house. You don't have, I don't have access to a Portal Nexus, but I can still create a portal room and put a bunch of teleports in my house. Um, and I can get a jewelry box, at least, you know, the, the basic one. And then I can also just make some jewelry as I go along the game. And so I will have access to all the teleports from Globetrotter one way or the other, but Fairy Flight's Leprechaun teleport I won't have. Now there's a chance I'm probably not picking the farming relic that's coming up on tier six. So I wanted to have some slight buff to farming and Fairy's Flight is that farming buff for me. So keep that in mind. I think Fairy's Flight has been a charm. It's been super, super powerful. There's pretty much teleports everywhere, especially if you're going to Asgarnia. Asgarnia actually has a ton of leprechauns. Um, Desert, not so much, but that's okay because, you know, you can kind of figure it out. There's a few good fairy rings, so now I don't have to carry a Draman staff ever, and I can just fairy ring directly from my inventory, and it's equipable on the offhand, which has also been amazing because my best in slot offhand right now is an anti-dragon shield, so I just kind of leave that in the bank and just walk around with the fairy's flight mushroom all day. Right, and I don't have to sacrifice an amulet slot or a weapon slot with a drama staff, it's an offhand, so super powerful there. 
So tier three relic, I chose fire sale. I am, you know, my friends chose banker's note and I think both are super, super valuable. For me, fire sale just like blasted me through the early game. You can see the 76 construction and 75 uh, farming levels here. That's literally from bagged plants once I unlocked Asgarnia and I just did that nonstop and, you know, got my house up to a decent level. Um, also, it just gave me massive amounts of, you know, GP or massive amounts of runes, which I converted into Tukul, which got me those onyxes really fast. Again, super duper unlock. I just buy trillions of runes and I can just AFK mage all day and never worry about, you know, any resource costs for training magic. Uh, and magic super important because I need to enchant those onyx um, jewelry. Uh, I did choose Archer's Embrace. Pretty straightforward here. This is really just what your kind of content you're going to do and what kind of playstyle you want. I wanted to go for the range gear and the range unlocks, so that's why I'm choosing Archer's Embrace. This is, just depends on the kind of gears you're going for and the kind of combat style you like. Uh, and then lastly, I chose Treasure Seeker. Now, we had a big debate on this. I really wanted Infernal Gathering. Infernal Gathering was just going to have a great way to kind of fix my fire making training as well as my, my, my mining training as well. Also, I haven't really been cooking and fishing that much, so the harpoon there would have been really powerful. It's just really fast gathering and their respective production skills, right? Uh, so that was a really good debate. Now, Bloodthirsty to me was okay just because I, if I could pick my own Slayer task, I probably would have gone for the Bloodthirsty. Um, but to me, it was it was powerful, and you can get you know the good you know imbued heart and other Slayer drops from superiors, and you get way more Slayer XP, and it's gonna unlock you know the whip faster for you um, and other you know Slayer items. But I think it'll kind of fall off longer term. Whereas the Treasure Seeker is just gonna be absolutely insane. There are so many tasks around getting you know collection log, getting uniques, getting certain items. I actually did my first hard clue this morning, and I got a Robin Hood hat as well as a Guthix blessed dehyde body absolutely insane upgrades for my range setup right so treasure seeker absolutely super powerful unlock uh just the caveat you cannot do all clues and i'll show you a screenshot in a second um a few slides down um so there are some things there but the clue drop rate is absolutely insane so some pointers Number one thing, just do tasks. Bank standing is not the way to go. You know, just sitting around and just like training is probably like, you know, if you wanna break from doing tasks, definitely do some scaling and, and mix it up and make sure you're having fun. <coughs> but if you're like, hey, Static, you, why are you so far? And to be honest, I'm not, I'm surprised how far I am. I've just been banging out tasks nonstop, right? Um, so just keep that in mind. Also, if you're like, hey, I don't know what tasks to do, that's a great time to kind of switch up to AFK skilling. Even recording this video, I'm AFK crabbing on the side and just making sure that you know the gains are continuously progressing. I need to train those magic levels, so AFK crabbing is great. Um, but yeah, so just make sure you're AFKing some tasks and skill. Um, I know thieving for me was a big pain and because I don't have trickster, uh, but if you you know are gonna AFK, fishing and woodcutting are a couple great options. And that way you can kind of AFK for a few minutes and read through the tasks and kind of collect your thoughts and notes and go from there right and also make sure you take breaks from those high repetitive click activities so i doing those bag plants as well as the the desert strategy i had to take a break my wrist would not take it anymore uh, that's why i didn't get 99 crafting or that's why i didn't get 99 construction yet so i'm going to kind of you know piece it out through the day today and tomorrow and just make sure i kind of get those early unlocks that i really want and where fire sale is really going to propel me into the late game that's why i'm going for that so on that note, Fire Sale has been a huge mega early game boost. If you're like, I just need to get to the end game as fast as possible, Fire Sale is definitely the play. Uh, if you want more utility, Banker's Note is definitely more utility overall in the long term, right? So just keep that in mind, whether you're going for the short term play or the long term play. For me, I'm using Fire Sale to propel my quality of life improvements in the game later on like i already have a house with like the basic pool in there with uh, an altar to train prayer i also have you know a portal room already set up so all those things that you know the fire sale is getting me now is going to make the rest of my days uh be really powerful whereas if you get banker's note you're going to have a nice utility throughout the rest of the league uh, also for those of you who are unlocking desert just 
just go to the gem stall and make money even if you don't get fire sale and actually especially if you don't get fire sale you're gonna be able to sell those gems back and for me early money was a difficult thing to get and this just fixed everything we went there for like half an hour and made like you know 500k or a mil and that was just some insane starter cash super fast you know just buy one at a time sell five at a time production prodigy cuts the inventory all at once, super fast, crazy XP, super good. Definitely, definitely do that if you guys are in the desert. Now, using the wiki has been super powerful and helpful. Uh, they just updated all the stats to have a completion percentage. So what the completion percentage is, is the number of players who are using the wiki sync and have completed that task. And when you see these tasks, like 99% of players have done it. And if you're like, oh crap, I haven't done it, then you should probably go do it because it's super duper easy task, right? So if you want to know how to enable this, just make sure you're using the room light um, client and then make sure you go to the plugins and look for WikiSync. All you have to do is turn it on, give it a second, log in and out of the game if you have to, and then it'll sync and update to the wiki. And then you can insert your name as I have the second screenshot below. And then you can look up you know, the progress that you've been making. And then it'll help you select all the tasks you've done. And this is great for you know achievement diaries, quests, everything, right? Um, it, it syncs with everything on the wiki. It's super powerful. It's probably one of the best wiki features I have ever seen for anything. So yeah, sort your tasks, you know, you can select the regions in the wiki um, by the tasks, by the regions you've unlocked, and then you can sort by, you know, completion percentage, and then just look for the easy tasks to bang out. If you're looking to unlock that relic or that area, that's just a great way to find some tasks that are probably easy that you may have missed, right? Um, second of all, another thing you can do is look up a certain player. This is my username, just getting them up from my group iron. And you can just kind of, if you're like, hey, this person or this streamer or this content creator has chosen the same relics and the same, you know, regions, or I'm just following their path, then just look up their name and see what tasks they've done. Because if they've done them, especially on day one, you're likely to be able to do them by day one, day two, maybe even day three, uh, no matter, you know, how slow or fast you are or how behind you are. Um, Remember, it's not a race. It's just a nice, steady marathon, especially because the dragon tier, you know, points have been set and defined. You know, everyone can get dragon tier if they wanted to, right? So just keep that in mind. Those are great ways to use the wiki. Uh, searching tasks in the game is also powerful, and I like that they allow you to see the menu and keep it open while you're doing things. But just keep in mind that the wiki does have some really nice features and information that can really help you find the tasks you need to do. All right, so day two goals. What am I gonna do today? So I'm thinking, you know, I took a break from the crafting. I'm gonna go back. I have the tier five unlock now, so I have even more XP. So I should be getting around like seven mil XP per hour for crafting. So I'm thinking I just go back and just finish the crafting caping at 99. Uh, that's gonna be a pretty straightforward unlock. Use it as like a one-click bang telly because I do have Asgarni unlock now, so that's gonna be great. I did set up my farming or my birdhouse runs last night. So, I, you know, I built my house, got my clockworks and set that. So I'm just gonna start doing those regularly since I'm probably not unlocking a farming relic uh, and then mainly I'm gonna get into combat training I want to get my magic up uh, so I can you know enchant the jewelry and then get into range and slayer right I just got those key great items from the hard clues slayer is gonna get me a lot more clues which is gonna get me a lot more gear and while training slayer I'm gonna train combat so it's like a super powerful you know circle kind of uh, track um, and I'm thinking about also doing some press control. Actually, I did some this morning, but I realized that if I wait to unlock some combat achievements and I get like the easy or medium tier of combat achievements, I'll get even more points, which I think those points each get multiplied by the multiplier. So just keep that in mind. I think it's going to be absolutely insane. And I'm going to probably be using pest control to you know, level of my prayer to the high ends. Uh, that's just the thought I have. I actually probably should move it into maybe stretcher considering goals, right? Um, and then just focusing on gear upgrades. I got the treasure seeker unlock. The clues have been super powerful today. So I'm just gonna keep doing that as I get more clue drops from Slayer, right? So I guess again, it's like one thing supports another thing, which supports another thing, which supports another thing. And it just kind of full circle, you know, all of your, your tasks and your goals together. Um, some stretch goals I have. So there's a lot of you know points and tasks requiring to for me to unlock tier six and seven. Uh, I'm not too like eager to get those just yet. I don't need them just yet. I also don't need to unlock my fourth region just yet. Um, I have plenty of things to do right now. 
So, you know, I'm going to do some tasks as I move along. And for example, I'll train magic and I can do some ancient magics, which will get me some tasks on the way. Uh, but I'm not really going to chase tasks too hard today. I did push pretty hard on tasks yesterday. Today's all about, you know, hitting those levels and getting those upgrades and getting that additional progression. And who knows, maybe if we get really, really far and really good gear upgrades today and really good range and, you know, general combat levels, uh, maybe we'll try a Toa. Um, my melee combat still it's, are still pretty low, so that might be a thought. Uh, I might also do the fire cape. That might be an option to kind of throw in today. Should be pretty quick with the range relic. Um, and who knows? Maybe if I get some insane gear and everything, I'll go jump into God Wars and give that a shot. You know, there's endless opportunities. It all depends on how much I play today and how far I get. Um, and this video has turned out to be way longer than I anticipated. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like to follow along, just you know subscribe, and that way you can get updated with all my daily recaps. Uh, I'm not going to do one every day, but I'll do one for the next several days, and then I'll start doing them like weekly recaps as we get later into the leagues. If you found this video helpful to you with any of the hints, definitely give it a like. If you think of anything else that I could benefit from or others could benefit from, definitely leave a comment below. And I might be streaming on Twitch again today. We'll see. I didn't get that many viewers yesterday, so I kind of turned it off. Again, I understand that everyone wants to be watching those big content creators, and me too. So have a great one. Continue your league's journey and have a great time.